Good morning, sixth graders. I hope that you are having a terrific day. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to go over what your activity is for this week. Some of you joined in on the Zoom and a lot of you didn't. And I know a lot of you are not working in your specialist folder, but this is something that I kind of need you to do. It's important. Um, when you access your specialist course, you're going to go to Media Center. And I have a special, um, go to week of May 4th, <clears throat> and I have a sixth grade folder for you. So what you're going to be working on is a sixth grade shout out. What we're trying to do is figure out a way that we can showcase you guys. I know you're kind of getting gypped out of your sixth grade celebration. Uh, there's a lot of fun things that you're missing out on at the end of the year. So we were trying to come up with a way that you could uh, be recognized by Christman Elementary. So what I did was I created a slide deck for you guys in PowerPoint. So this slideshow is, uh, it's going to be similar to the activity that Mr. Murphy put you guys in groups in. I don't know if you remember when you were working in groups and you had to create a PowerPoint and everybody kind of had a slide that they had to share. This is the same type of thing. And if you look, everybody has a slide. So if I click on somebody's name, their slide is there. That is your slide. Okay, so that is the slide that you are responsible for, nobody else. That being said, you are not allowed to touch anybody else's slide. You are only allowed to work on your own slide. So what we're trying to do uh, to say farewell is when we make this slide deck, uh, what I'd like to do is publish it to our Christman website so it will be out there for the community. And I'd also like to take your individual slides and post them on Facebook and do some sixth grade shout outs. So that being said, let me kind of go over what you need to do. The directions are in slide two. You also have a completion rubric in slide three. So we're going on whether it's complete or incomplete and making sure that the graphics that you have are copyright free. And I'll show you a way to do that in just a minute so uh, you don't have to go outside of PowerPoint to look for pictures, which is kind of cool. So this is an example of what I'm looking for for you. Okay, so what you need to have on your slide, uh, you can have class of 2020 if you want to, that's up to you, but you need to have your name, first name, last initial. Do not type your complete last name. We are putting this out to the community and you know with digital citizenship, you don't want your last name out there. Uh, you can type whose class you're in. Uh, since we were doing career focus, you can decide on what you want to do when you graduate from high school. Uh, keep in mind that it does not have to be what you've been researching for career focus. So if that wasn't something that you really wanted to do, you could come up with something else uh, along with where you're going to school. Uh, then you have some options here. You're going to tell me what your best Christmas memory is. It could be something from kindergarten, second grade, whatever. It could be this year. Um, making sure that it is an appropriate memory, keeping in mind who your audience is because there will be people in the community that uh, read this. It is not just going to be me and your sixth grade friends that are reading it. Um, it's going to be your teachers. It's going to be parents. Uh, so keep that in mind that it needs to be uh, appropriate for school and you also should be following the digital citizenship skills that I've taught you. Then you're also allowed to do a Christmas shout out. So your Christmas shout out can be to a teacher. Uh, it could be to a teacher that's no longer at the building. Uh, if there was somebody that you had that isn't at Christmas anymore, that's fine. It could be a custodian. It could be a secretary. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a classroom teacher. So keep that in mind. And you are also allowed to do one shout out to a friend. Okay, so once you have all that typing done, keeping in mind that you have complete sentences, capital letters, and correct punctuation, you can add graphics onto your screen that are things that you were a part of at Christman. Now, maybe you played hockey, but it wasn't necessarily at Christman Elementary. That's fine. You can find a graphic for that. But um, like if you were part of Science Olympiad or Safety Patrol or Honors Choir, or things like that, you can add those in here now. You can use my Science Olympiad and Math Olympiad. The rest are on your own. So come up with your own ideas and your own graphics for those. Don't copy off me. Okay, but let me share with you how you can find a graphic. I'm just going to go into Sally's real quick so you can see. You actually can go to Insert here. And when you go to Pictures, the nice thing right now about being home is nothing's blocked. So you can go to this Bing picture 
And if I typed in that I was on safety patrol, I can type in the word safety patrol and look at searching that Creative Commons. So that's that place that I showed you that is all copyright free pictures. So you can click on those pictures and insert them as you see fit. Now, keep in mind that there's gonna be uh, a little caption underneath there. That's because it's giving credit to that picture. Try to keep those on. Um, and again, if you don't like the picture, you can click delete, it goes away and you are all set. But uh, come up with a clever background. I'm gonna show you some because some people are working on them and they're doing a really good job. Uh, here's a picture of Emily. And as you can see, a lot of you are not doing this yet and I do need it done by next Friday. So I'm giving you an additional week. Uh, Chloe's is really cute. Now, as you notice, Chloe added pictures of herself. Um, Jack is not making pictures of himself. That is because your picture is optional, and I'm going to tell you why. Since we're putting it on Facebook and we're putting it on the Christman website, uh, I'm not going to tell you you have to put a picture of yourself. You can use graphics, and that's fine. But um, if your parent says, no way, I don't want your picture on there, that's fine. I have emailed the families that signed media releases that they don't want their students on media release, so you might want to check with your parents and see there's only like eight or nine of you. So, um, and I've already gotten some of those responses. So uh, as long as they give you permission and you want to put your picture up, that's cool. And what I'm trying to do is I'm doing some Facebook shout outs, kind of like what, uh, like what here, let's see, but that this will open real quick so you can see. So like I'm doing right now teacher appreciation shout outs. So uh, these are what students are sending me about their teachers but I wanna do shout outs of you guys. So that would be at least some way that you guys get recognized uh, because you've been at Christmas a really long time and we're gonna miss you and you've worked hard and you've earned this and you deserve it. So um, the quicker you can get this done, the better. Uh, the due date is set for next Friday, which is May 15th. And um, I will be letting your teachers know who is and is not completing the activity so that they can reach out to you as well. Okay, so hopefully we don't have to take it that far. You guys just go ahead and get it done. Um, and again, like I said, the directions are here and the rubrics here. Make sure if you're grabbing pictures outside of PowerPoint, you don't want these uh, copyrighted pictures, okay? And remember, we talked about those before. They're the ones that have the lines through it. Those are the easiest ones to detect. So if you see something like that, do not use that um, picture, okay? So good luck to you. If you have any questions, reach out to me. You can email me through Schoology or through uh, the Kristen website. Grab my email and shoot me an email if you're confused and I can help you out. Okay? Good luck, guys. You deserve this. I want to do something special to make sure you all get recognized.